My world is a sad world Often wonder if there's blame Such a fool and a mad, mad world With no picture in my frame Well, I, I first wrote it to Charles Manson after I got a copy of his 1967 studio recordings. Uh, this was around the time he was, I think he was living in Beverly Hills. He had befriended people like Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys, and uh, I think he knew Neil Young a little bit too. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I got a copy of these recordings. I found a collector that uh, expressed some interest in selling a copy, so I, you know, purchased that and uh, listened to it. It was. It was a pretty incredible set of songs. It, um, I'd say it was it's one of the few times I've been moved emotionally by music. There was a lot of a lot of soul in Manson's playing and, and uh, his singing as well. I wrote to him and I in the letter I expressed interest in releasing them. And you know, I said if if I didn't hear back from him, I wouldn't just go against his wishes and put him out anyway, because that's usually how Manson recordings have, have been released over the last 20 years. People get tapes and then they just put them out and make a nice little profit for themselves, usually. Uh, so, you know, I told Manson all that. Write me back. I left my phone number with him. I said, give me a call if you'd like, and we can discuss it further. And uh, I really didn't expect to hear from him, because there's... There was really nothing in it for him. Uh, California has a law called the Son of Sam Law, where uh, criminals, well, and by criminals, of course, I mean people who are convicted of crimes. I don't know. I would necessarily call consider Manson a criminal. Uh, not a, certainly not a murderer, but anyway, the Son of Sam Law would prevent him from receiving any money for the recordings. You know, so he didn't really stand to gain anything financially or, well, he, he really stood nothing to gain by me releasing it, uh, except that his music would be heard. <laughs> so I didn't really expect to hear back from Manson. Uh, then a couple of months later, I got a letter from him where he said basically, you know, uh, whatever you want to do with it is cool. Well, see, this is a man that, you know, he's 68 years old now. And these 68 years, he's been in various prisons or boys' homes, 51 of those years. He gets dismissed as crazy, of course, by uh, everyone, but I think the man's quite sane and, and has a lot of fascinating things to say. Manson is probably one of the most honest people I've ever known. He's certainly more honest than, uh, than any politician I've ever met. Earlier this year, February, I think, uh, he called for the first time, and uh, I've been talking to him on the phone every once in a while since then. All right, you ready? I'm ready, man. All right, uh, uh, this is in a in a uh, in a D minor on the first fret. Okay. Uh, with the, it's important that you play the F note first. Okay. Uh, then the second uh, chord is a G minor seven. Yeah. On the third fret and a C ninth right under that. Okay. And then the I mean, in my heart again, I am the darkness standing on the moon. Love and life, I'm just a part of them. So soldiers never lose because it's all within. The wind wins again and again. The eyes are the windows of my soul. I know, I know. I'll never start again because I'll never end. Golden eye, the world is watching. The soul and I, as I sail my ship across the starlit sky. No riders I know the well. I've danced a thousand demons through the midnight hell. How can I tell? How can I tell? Would I? Could I? Should I tell? I tell myself I am my own heaven and my own hell. Ah, uh, that's uh, what I got so far. 
thing is fucking beautiful, man. Well, it's yeah. Uh, it sounds good when you get it going. When uh, uh, da da do da do da da da. Yeah, yeah. Do da da da. I'm in the wrong key, but da 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 da. Do da love life. I'm just a part of them. Yeah. Old soldiers never lose because it's all within. I started to say to hear the weatherman win again. Uh huh. Because you're running for sheriff, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. sounds fucking incredible on uh, like the nylon string guitar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's all I've ever played. I never played an electric thing. Right, right. You know. Yeah. I have to learn all over to play that. You probably wouldn't have any place to plug it in though, would you? <laughs> huh. uh, <laughs> no, it just got carried around. Well, I got the Alcatraz music program, but these people would rather lose all their money than uh, than give me what I got coming. Yeah. You play piano too, huh? Yeah, I like playing piano best of all, man. I don't know. I just kind of I can get it all out that way, you know. That's what I wanted to start with, man. Yeah, really? But I, I, I you know, I couldn't carry it around with me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they got all these fucking toy keyboards and everything, and just yeah. <laughs> take it under your arm with you almost. And I wasn't stationary enough to, to really have time for that. Yeah. So uh, that's why I picked up the classical box, man. Yeah, well, it's done you well, I think. Yeah. I really got pretty good with that damn thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, listening to your stuff, I mean, you know a hell of a lot of jazz chords. That, that's what really surprises me. I mean, you go beyond C, G, D, and F, you know? Oh, I know them all. Yeah. I went to a studio in, in uh, Universal Studios, and I was playing, and a studio musician come up and said, how many chords you know? Boy, I said, all of them. <laughs> said, no, I could possibly know them all. I said, you go in prison for a couple of 10, 15 years in a cell. You learn, yeah. You learn them just for something to do. Just for something to do, yeah.
get in my barber chair, you know. Right. <laughs> and but then when I come into this state, I found out that it's, that's not the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everybody's doing anything they can get away with, and uh, it's uh, it's a madhouse, you know. So all the foreign the corporations and foreign people are moving in because they see it's all open, it's uh, free lunch. So they're moving in, cutting all the damn trees down. You know what? They're lumbering in the redwoods, man. Yeah. And it's all right with me. I've never been a part of it anyway, you know. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, whatever they're doing, they're doing to themselves. It's really got nothing to do with me personally. Mm-hmm. You know, because I'm a hobo and a bum anyway. I, I live on the road most of the time. Mm-hmm. I don't really have a, 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 a center, not in that society. Right, right. We don't have powerful people in our church. If we don't have powerful people in our governing position, you want to put actors in the, in the damn governor's office again? <laughs> we should have learned our lesson with Reagan, right? Well, no, Reagan stole a beautiful dream. Everybody had a wonderful dream and they had a wonderful party, but that the, the wasn't on the ground with it. Yeah. And then when, they, when he made his last speech, someone said he talked about everybody in the world with rights, everybody with food. He told everybody everything they wanted to tell him. And someone says, you say rights for everyone? He said, everyone. What about Manson? Uh-huh. He said, oh, well, everyone but Manson. Right, right. So it's everybody gets to be real prophets, and I'm the false prophet. Right. And everybody gets to be Christ, and I'm the anti-Christ. You know, I appreciate you, sir. Well, hey, man, I'm, I'm here if I can help you, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, anything I can do. Uh, uh, the sun is coming up to my heart. I am the darkness standing on the moon. Love and life, I'm just a part of them. Soul, souls will never lose because it's all them. MacArthur said that. Yeah. He came back from Korea, he said, old soldiers never die, they just fade away. Yeah, that's right. The land of cotton. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. It's good to know somebody's out there listening. <laughs> yeah. How's the Mississippi River? Is it, is it dirty? It's it's filthy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's in bad shape. I'm I'm sorry to say. Well, you've got to clean it up. Yeah. Not say I'm just one guy. So I'm just one guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I have the ocean on mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sing your songs to have one. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Yeah, good man. I appreciate you. Hey, you too, man. You take care, all right? Yeah. You be cool. All right, you too, man. I love you. Peace.